When someone ignores you, do this. Hello viewers and welcome back to our channel. There are two reasons why you've opened this video of ours. The first is that you regularly watch our content because you find it interesting. Or the second reason might be that you have felt ignored by someone you care about. Whatever the reason, you've clicked on just the right video. Today's topic is relatable and emotionally charged. What to do when someone you care about begins to neglect you. When we feel ignored, we might experience a wide range of perplexing and challenging emotions including despair, irritation, anxiety, and self-doubt. You can wonder what you did wrong, if you're good enough, or why they suddenly appear to be moving away. These are very understandable and valid feelings. We want you to know that you're not alone in experiencing them. So why do people ignore us? There could be several explanations for this. Perhaps the other person is struggling and isn't emotionally ready to talk with you right now. Maybe they don't want to be in a relationship with you, but don't know how to tell you. Perhaps they're playing games or attempting to influence you for their own gain. Or maybe they're just too busy or distracted to answer right now. Ignorance, for whatever reason, can feel like rejection and can be excruciatingly unpleasant to live with. But don't stress, we're here to offer some advice and ways to deal with being ignored while taking care of yourself. But before we get started, to be our favorite kind of viewer, click the subscribe button right now and press the bell icon. Don't forget to comment saying, I've subscribed so we can thank you. Now that you've joined the coveted club, let's look at some options for dealing with this difficult circumstance. Tip one, give them space. When someone begins to annoy you, first thing to remember is to give them space. It can be tempting to flood them with text or phone calls, but this usually works to push them away. Instead, step back and give them time and space to process their emotions and reply in their own time. So what exactly does give them space imply? It implies not contacting them for some time, whether a few hours, a few days, or even weeks. This can be challenging, especially if you're used to communicating frequently. Still, it's critical to respect their boundaries, allowing them to miss you and seek out on their own terms. Do you feel like this means that you've already given up on your relationship with your partner? Absolutely not. Giving someone space does not imply abandoning the relationship or losing hope. It just involves respecting their boundaries, but also taking care of yourself. A little separation can sometimes bring individuals closer together in the end. Tip 2. Focus on yourself. Have you been feeling insecure about yourself since your partner started ignoring you? You don't need to worry if that's the case. Almost everyone does that. When someone begins to ignore you, it's tempting to become absorbed in figuring out what you did wrong and how you can improve to win them back. Unfortunately, this can lead to self-doubt out and losing sight of your needs and priorities. That's why our second piece of advice is to concentrate on yourself. Investing in personal growth and development is one method of focusing on yourself. Take advantage of this opportunity to pursue your hobbies and interests learn a new skill, or enroll in a class that's always been on your wish list. This not only makes you feel more fulfilled and confident, but makes you more intriguing and appealing to others. Maintaining healthy boundaries is also part of focusing on yourself. It's okay to put your needs first and limit your interaction with someone who ignores or mistreats you. This does not imply fully removing them from your life, but it implies sticking up for yourself and recognizing your worth. Tip 3. Reach out once more. Now that you've tried giving them some space and focusing on yourself, and you still feel like there's something unresolved between you and the person who's been ignoring you, it may be time to reach out again. And that's the third thing we suggest you do, reaching out again, but this time with intention and purpose. When you reach out, ensure you do so with respect and empathy. Instead of being aggressive or accusatory, focus on communicating your feelings and needs calmly and honestly. You may remark, for example, I've been perplexed and wounded by your recent actions towards me. I'd like to talk about it and see if we can sort things out and get back on track. It's critical to approach this discussion with an open mind and a readiness to listen to the other other person's point of view. Instead of making assumptions or jumping to conclusions, try to understand where they're coming from. If they're willing to talk, be prepared to actively listen to what they say and collaborate to uncover common ground and potential solutions. If they're unwilling to discuss, it may be time to acknowledge that the relationship has run its course and it's time to move on. Our advice might have made you sad. That's the truth we bring you in every video. And remember that the people that are true to you will always speak the truth, no matter how much it hurts. And because we're your true friend, a like for our video would be all the appreciation we want. Tip 4. Don't take it personally. It's tempting to take it personally when you're ignored and begin to doubt yourself. Nonetheless, remember that the other person's behavior is a reflection of them, not you. Our fourth piece of advice is to not take it personally. Separate your self-worth from the behavior of the other person. Just because they ignore you, doesn't imply that you're not worthy of love or respect. It's possible that their behavior has nothing to do with you. It is due to anything that you're unaware of in their own lives. If you have unpleasant thoughts or emotions as a result of the circumstance, consider speaking with a trusted friend or therapist who can provide support and perspective. It's okay to ask for help when needed. 
and reaching out for support can be a powerful way to rebuild your confidence and sense of self-worth. Tip 5. Focus on other relationships. It's important to remember that you are not defined by any one relationship and that many other people in your life care about you. That's the crux of our fifth tip. Spend time and invest in friends and family who make you feel loved and supported. It's also a fantastic time to try new things and develop new connections, which can help you feel more positive and hopeful about the future. When you spend time with others, try to be present at the moment and focus on appreciating their company. If it doesn't feel natural or necessary, don't bring up the situation with the individual individual neglecting you. Instead, use this opportunity to cultivate other relationships and create a support network for yourself. It will help you realize that being ignored by one person doesn't mean the world. People love you for who you are, which is the most important realization in such events. This brings us to our sixth tip. Tip six, set boundaries. Our sixth piece of advice is to establish clear boundaries around how you expect to be treated in the relationship. Boundaries are vital in any relationship because they help to set healthy parameters. When someone ignores you, expressing that you are and are not ready to tolerate is crucial. This could include limiting how frequently you're willing to contact them or telling them that you will not tolerate horrible treatment. Being explicit and direct with the other person while setting boundaries is critical. To explain your concerns, use I phrases rather than criticizing or assaulting them. For instance, you could say something like, when you ignore my messages, it hurts me. I must step back from this relationship if you're unwilling to speak with me. It's also vital to stick to your boundaries. You must follow that commitment if you claim that you will not tolerate mistreatment. This might be difficult, especially if you have a history with the individual or feel you're leaving something essential behind. Setting and enforcing limits, on the other hand, is critical to your own self-esteem and emotional well-being. These are some of the important tips we believe will be the right things to do in case anyone ignores you. The topic of today's video was a tough one to talk about. It is difficult to understand the perspective of someone going through this phase. However, we have tried to advise you as objectively as possible. We might have missed out on an important aspect. If you think so, do let us know in the comments below. And if we have a sufficient number of tips, we can come up with a second video in this series. Because, as we've always been, providing the right kind of advice to our viewers is our main priority. Thank you for watching the video to the end. We hope that you've gained what you're looking for. And before we say goodbye until next time, make sure you've subscribed to our channel and liked our video. See you next time.